Hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or would like me to cover something in greater detail or cover something I have not, please put it into the comments. Today I will be sharing a script that I use to rapidly deploy PHP IPAM and related software needed to get it up and running and ready to install and be in a configurable state. I'm assuming you are using Rocky Linux 9.x as that is all I have tested this script on lately with. If you try it on something else, CentOS, Red Hat, uh, Debian, and it works, put it in the comments. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we want to go and take my script and dump it into here into a bash, right? And so I'm going to actually execute this in the background while I'm talking about this. So what does my script do? Well, first and foremost, this script installs Apache, installs the EPL and Remy repositories, installs PHP 8.3, MariaDB, Webmin, and PHP IPAM. It also configures the firewall. It also installs all the necessary packages for PHP IPAM, Webmin, and as you can see, and I just ran this, it's installing everything. Now it also downloads PHP IPAM from Git and installs it as version 1.6 so that it's configured for the initial setup. Um, the user IDs are default and I, I put password for the passwords in the script. Uh, if we come down you'll see that the password is in the configuration for MySQL is auto ran and I believe we might be able to see that after yes here's Maria um, but it goes through with the MySQL secure installation and it actually inputs all of the um, default settings and changes the password to password um, and that should be happening there it is yeah so you'll see this slowly go up and it's answering the questions it also does the same thing for webmin and the other nice thing is is i've configured this so that the when you run this it does, shouldn't care what directory you're uh, installing from and by that i mean you, know, you could install it from root in, or your home directory, as long as you have rights to install to the server directory, which is var slash www, or have the rights actually to install applications throughout the system. As you can see, uh, we're going to put it into the webmin folder and it will learn the webmin. I think it's on yeah 2.202, so it will copy that and run the setup and everything for that and then finally as you can see here uh, you can customize this there's nothing preventing you from doing that and you can see that it's changing to the directory and you know just like you would normally configure it as you can see it open the firewall for webmin there um, and then finally at the very end it cleans up a bunch of the files like webmin and the webmin install directory in these so you can delete it uh, and I think I mentioned that you can see everything is getting logged and it's up here at the very top I want to make sure you can see it uh, where is it yeah so we, I dump everything to var log setup underscore script and it looks like we're done here and you can see I do do a little you know self and grand and grand and grandizement anyways uh, 
there's my YouTube, my Twitter, and then finally I'm putting all of my files as I move along here over on Git. And you can actually pick them up over here. And here's the setup PHP IPAM script. Um, and then, but let's see how this worked. If it did work, I think I forgot what IP address this was. It's 25, so let me bring that up. And as you can see, it's set up to begin a new installation. And if I did this right, oops, 25. Web min should be there, and it is. And we have successfully set up a brand new PHP IPAM with Webmin um, server. And it only took a few minutes and not a lot of copying and pasting. Um, you can, I did put down that you can uh, change things. You can put in 1.5. You need to make sure you change the EPA, uh, the Remy repository and whatnot so that you have the matching stuff. Well, I hope you found this script useful in your PHP IPAM endeavors. And finally, I wanted to thank you for watching my video. And as always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Have a great day and thank you.